Well, <clears throat> good afternoon. Uh, we're out here in front of the pole barn. We have uh, our modified section of tower for the top and a another piece of tower for the uh, lower section. And we're getting ready to uh, put the hinge in. I have it all set up on a bunch of sawhorses out in the sun so we can get some uh, video. I've removed the uh, rotor and the uh, piece of two inch pipe just to make things lighter and easier to handle. All right, what we have here on our little work table, two pieces of the hinge in which I'm getting ready to install. Uh, I'm going to set the camera on a tripod and uh, install the uh, piece of hinge that uh, goes on the uh, tower proper. Uh, the other piece of hinge, that piece, this piece here, will go and get mounted on uh, the, uh, sta the stationary piece of tower. So uh, we'll get busy doing that. So we're just going to take uh, one of the pieces of the hinge, which is the one that's a little bit larger in diameter than the other one, and we'll slip it over the uh, top piece of the tower, and uh, then we'll slip the tail piece of the tower into, into it and uh, align everything with some drift punches and then put some bolts in it. So here we go. And we can't forget to orientate the uh, hinge part. Uh, in this particular case, it's going to be uh, so that the tower, when the tower tilts, it tilts to the north. And as I mentioned earlier, when we're putting in the uh, plates or the shelves for the rotor, uh, this is something that you have to be uh, aware of which way it's going. That just slips right over the tower, and uh, now we can take the other section and slide it in, the tailpiece. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> I couldn't have done that if I tried. You just don't know how lucky that is for those to go together because used old tower is always, always twisted and out of form and you always fight with it.
Okay. The hinge is now bolted on without any customer swearing. Hey, as our neighbor's dog comes over to say hello. Thought I was talking to her. Okay. So now, Now we gotta go put this half on the stationary piece of power. Okay, <clears throat> well we've we finally got the tower up and uh, we used the gin pole to stabilize the tower uh, while I worked at putting the bolts through for the hinge and uh, We stabilized the bottom of the tower so my son didn't have to hold the thing up all the time uh, by putting some planks through there until we got the right amount of planks uh, so that the pins on the, uh, on the hinge were in line. So now we can take it all down. I mean all the gin pole and all the wood and stuff. And uh, then we got to mount the winch. What I'm going to show today is the brackets to hold the electric winch and the brackets to uh, keep the uh, tower from the bottom of the tower from twisting to the station, the stationary piece of the tower. This uh, piece that I welded on here is so a, uh, the cable from the winch, the cable for the winch will uh, hook on here and uh, give, this will transfer the, uh, the stress to this bracket to both legs right at the point where there are some uh, triangular uh, I call them gussets, uh, it just, you'll see. Okay, now this piece here was a, a piece of angle iron, and then I welded a three inch plate uh, to it to extend it and uh, I welded across there and I welded it across the inside and uh, this gets mounted against the stationary piece of tower putting this winch on. Had to go get some new hardware and then realize that the hardware that came with this winch is metric. And 
I don't like to mix threaded type stuff <clears throat> on a project. We disengaged the clutch so the towel got the free wheel. Like that. Okay. I've got a tagline on it here just to be on the safe side. back in and it locks 
I'm going to use a 12 volt battery charger to run the winch temporarily just to test it. Make sure I, I didn't even test it out of the box. I just hopefully assumed that it was going to work. Okay, got to reverse the polarity. That's to let it out. We want to bring it in. Okay, it's a beautiful day out. I'm going to, uh, here's the winch. Oh, let me get my shadow out of the way. Let me come around this way. Here's the winch all installed. That's one section of tower with the hinge. The tail piece, which is one piece of tower. And uh, you can see how that's Spreading out the pull, the stress. Right in the hinge itself is the joint. Uh, the tail piece is about seven and a half feet long. And uh, this first piece of tower going out is a standard uh, nine six piece of Ron tower. And uh, this is the Series 20, it's almost the same as the 25. Uh, this, the distance between the struts is a little bit smaller, shorter uh, on the 25. I'm going to get my son to help me install the rotor. There's the rotor. And uh, let's see if we can... I'll have to take a picture of it and insert it. This camera does not focus for close-up. Okay, with the help of my son, we, <laughs> we installed the rotor, and uh, now we're just going to raise it back up in the vertical position, and uh, then I got to work on uh, 
a junction box for the tower, for the cabling, and work on the antenna to go on it. So, okay. All right, just uh, t run it a little bit. Okay. Okay, now my son's gonna run the winch and you'll see how it brings the tower. And I think this is probably going to be the closing video for this uh, tower.